Hello and welcome to B1, this is Drafel Maraxi and today I'm going to introduce you to the vertical hoverbot. This is a somewhat unique design that I came up with and actually bypasses a lot of the speed limits that are um, resultant from uh, the conventional use of the hover blades in a horizontal design. So let me just show you how it works. I've got a tier 7 bot here um, which I have already constructed and as you'll see, I've got two uh, sets of hover blades all stacked vertically. There's five on each side. Um, for this, I'm actually using tier two and tier four hover blades, but it actually works, the same concept works with tier one. And there's some um, additional features that are necessary for turning, like you've got thrusters up the top here, because the top essentially becomes your front. Uh, which for, for left and right steering and you also need some at the bottom for left and right steering because this is essentially the rear. Now the important thing to understand is that these thrusters have to be in front of the pilot seat and the, the thrusters here have to be behind the pilot seat because the pilot seat is still orientated as normal in the middle of the ship there. So let me just queue up for battle and show you exactly how it works. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long of a wait. Yeah, it's uh, this whole design was somewhat accidental when I was just trying to work on um, some flying bots. Uh, so originally I was trying to do it using helium, but I found out that uh, due to a quirk of how the game actually works, um, when you stack them vertically and you have enough weight in front to pull the bot over onto its front, uh, the forward button still works as a forward button, but you get a ridiculous amount of acceleration. So, I'm probably going to die quickly on this map, but at least I'll be able to show you just how fast this thing can be. Yeah, I've got... 45 cannons or L5S cannons and four um, L3S cannons on there as well. But let's just go. So yeah, this is accelerating purely off of the thrusters at the moment and everyone else is left way behind so far. Probably not the best demonstration. But given that I'm still to the enemy base within about 40 seconds of the match starting, um, that's fast like any bot. And there's no way a standard hover bot could even get this kind of speed. So let's just see if I can die and go and see if we can demonstrate this on another map, something like the ice map. Because that's where speed really plays an important part in the game. Oops, fell off. Yeah, the only caveat with this design is that controls can become a little bit funky when you lose your steering thrusters. You still have some control, um, but it gets more sporadic, so let's at least try to earn some points here. Yeah, there we go. Let's repair and queue up. Yeah, I'm currently in the middle of upgrading the blocks to the L5 blocks. Um, it does help a lot in terms of structural integrity. Uh, at the moment there's a big uh, mishmash of different block types, but you can build the same bot using uh, just five of the hover blades. Uh, you have two at the front, uh, or two at the top, two at the bottom, and another one centrally at the top, and it, essentially it does the same thing. Uh, the reason I've got so many is for redundancy most of all. Um, but yeah, let's just see how fast I can make it across the map on this one.
Yeah. Again, I'm at the enemy base about 6.50, so 40 seconds to the enemy base. If I went direct, I could make it in 30 seconds. Uh, but yeah, this is essentially one of the fastest possible bots you can make in terms and be combat effective. So let's go back to battle and I will end this video as soon as I die. But thank you for watching uh, Bay 1. I hope you enjoy other videos that I put up. Let's try and kill that dude. No doing. Anyway, that's basically the vertical hoverbot. Um, I would really like to see other people using this same kind of concept. It's actually very effective against gun beds. It's fast, it's got a lot of firepower. So please feel welcome to copy it and see if you can make it work yourselves. But thank you for watching, subscribe in the corner, and have a good, you know, enjoy playing Robocraft. Goodbye.